So I almost forgot that it's Tuesday. Life has been so hectic. I've been losing track of days. So I'm currently in Munich, Germany. I'm traveling through. Arrived here today. Got some Thai food earlier. Took a walk around the city. Let me um let me play a warm-up game. How about a 3-0 game? Okay. Playing a title player. Lower the volume a little bit. There we go. Got some Jobava London. The Thai food was okay. I can't say it was the best that I've had, but it was edible. Had some nice iced tea, some spring rolls. All right, what's going on here? Should probably take with pawn. Um, let me play a warm up game. How about a 3 0 game? Okay. Playing a title player. Lower the volume a little bit. There we go. Got some Jobava London. The Thai food was okay. I can't say it was the best that I've had, but it was edible. Had some nice iced tea, some spring rolls. All right, what's going on here? Should probably take with pawn. Bishop g5. I just blunder. Oh, I, I was lucky because uh, a rook would hang. These bishop f3 lines. Taking a risk, though. I mean, there's still takes, takes. I have to be very careful. Okay, I could take with knight. But then knight f4. Knight f4. I take with pawn. Let's take with pawn. My mind feels very slow right now. So hopefully this will warm me up a little bit. Probably king f1. The position is actually very weird. This knight's kind of in no man's land. The black's trying to exploit the pawn. This knight's holding together both pawns. So it seems logical for black to take, but after I take back, I hit the knight. And the queen can't take on g5 because I win the rook. So queen d4, maybe rook h4, rook h4, knight g6. Hmm. Not so obvious. Okay, I think I'll play queen d4. After the game, I'll catch up with chat. Try and address all the new people trickling in. I see some people from Georgia. What is this move? A queen g5 coming. Wow. So I have queen g4 here. So I'm not taking the knight right away. I mean, the knight does look trapped. If takes takes, I hit the rook and the knight. It's still confusing though. I mean, there's this move. Takes and then takes. Hmm. Yeah, that's also a move. If I take with either thing, there's 95 coming. Take, take, take. I don't want to get too long on time.
So I'm trying to set up king takes g2. I don't mind if bishop takes e4. Take two years soon. It's a, such a funny move. I'm threatening knight g6, though, at the point. What a funny position. I have so little time. Okay, queen b5 here. This could lead to trades. Okay, let's take here first. Okay, that worked out nicely. Quack. Guten Abend. Some up a piece, but very low on time. Yeah, I'm losing. What to do? Yeah, it's made in two. Haha. <laughs> oh, that was a sad game. Good game, though. Uh, at least award me a brilliant move for Bishop d5. Can you show some black side gambits other than Stafford? I'm trying to get to 1,600 from 1530 with the help of Trappy Gambits. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the other Gambits I play from the black side. That's not Stafford. Probably Budapest. Yeah, there's Elephant and Lafian. I haven't really gotten into either of those. Why Bishop d5? So Bishop d5 was... Somewhat, uh, somewhat of a tactical move. The idea is I wanted to set up knight d6 winning the queen because of this fourth rank x-ray vision. And yeah, so if, if bishop or pawn takes, I, I win the queen. My opponent realized this and took on b2, but that allowed me to take with check and then win the knight. So it worked out really nicely. Not sure if the engine will approve of that, though. Uh, going forward, going back. Bishop d5 is a miss. <laughs> so what was I supposed to play? Good luck. Let's see. Also, okay, so white was better. Except after I play bishop d5, let's see. I still have to figure out how to use this interface. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have the engine lines. King takes g2 was the best move. Ah, because the bishop's not actually hanging because knight d6 check here with the discovered fork. Yeah, I think, like, this game was the, um, the downfall for me was spending too much time in the tricky middle game. E4 was a great move. Yeah, the engine just criticizes all of us. Okay, back to live chess. Let me do some catching up here. Knight c5 after f5. Oh, in this position. Yeah, that's a move. 
Hitting the queen. Knight can't be taken. Ola from Duluth, MN. I guess the game would go on. Oh, but then I win e6. Yeah, knight c5 would have been nice. Hello to the truth. The truth from Duluth. Yeah, it's been a few days since I've streamed. Um, I've been busy with travels. I played the Chess Tennis World Championship a few days ago over this past weekend. Still recovering, a little bit sore. I have a lot of footage to go through and edit and hopefully post. When do you go back to the States? Um, undetermined. Probably sometime in the future, though. Hopefully. Have you tried German beer and pretzels? Um, actually, no. I've not had any beer or any pretzels. I've had Thai food. <laughs> I've had Thai food, Indian food. I did have a German meal. I had some like interesting berry type juice. It was called Johannes beer, I think. But it wasn't like beer. It was more like the sweet berry juice. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll have to find a pretzel to consume. How's the tea overseas? My hotel room came with two types of tea. Classic green and English breakfast. But I'm drinking a tea currently that I brought with me. It's um, vanilla bourbon. Yeah, Johanna's Beer Soft. Probably butchering the pronunciation. But yeah, I'm not really a beer drinker. I prefer tea or juice or water. I am open to recommendations of like what to do in Germany for a few days. I haven't tried sauerkraut either. I should really compile like a, a German bucket list. But we still have time until the tournament starts. Visit Poland. Okay, I'll I'll add visiting Poland to my German bucket list. I was trying to look up like chess clubs in the area. There uh, there were a couple like chess meetups in Munich, but it doesn't quite align with my schedule. I might try and find I think there's like a chess garden somewhere in the city. Like with giant pieces. I've never been to Berlin. That's definitely on my bucket list. All right, let's play another game. I need to play at least one gamut for black in honor of the subscriber who asked earlier. But I'm white again. <laughs> okay, I'll play e4. Okay, we have an Alakine. Oh, we have a Brooklyn. Brooklyn variation. Frankfurt. Enjoy your stay. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Appreciate it. All right. So my goal for this game is to not get too low on time. Thirty-nine today. Yeah, maybe I should not have accepted this IQP. Well, now I'm just hanging the IQP. <laughs> Opponent takes it. Um, okay, we're treating this as a gambit. This actually looks kind of interesting. Rook d1 coming soon. Wow. Take, take. I'll take and play bishop g3. Queen takes. All right, let's play queen e2. Oh, I see the comment from Seb's Seb's will. I'll check it out later. I'll check it out after the stream. Thanks for sharing. Okay, I'm threatening to take on g6. Discovered attack against the queen. 
Though I probably don't have much compensation here, unfortunately. Just have to accept the fact I'm down a pawn. I'm trying to avoid trades. Oh dear. Yeah, this is going to take some work. E7's hanging, but the queen's attacked. Wow. I'm really out of it. I'm losing a piece here. I found a ton of time to. Oh, what to do. So I'll play Bishop F1. Always play Bishop F1. Okay, I resign. <laughs> Not my proudest game. Hey, it's Tobia. Gifting to Daniel Fox. Thank you, Tobia. Thank you, Martin Otten, the Prime sub. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Like, my bedtime's approaching. Usually my bedtime is, like, before midnight. Title Tuesday is starting at 11 p.m., Oh, what to do. Hello to everyone, by the way. Um, maybe I should stop playing chess. Conserve the rest of the energy I have. Welcome back. Maybe I'll do a puzzle rush. Let's warm up in a, a different fashion. Okay, so let me um turn down this volume. All right, here we go. So usually the goal is to get to 40, like the magic number. Part of this is just getting used to the mouse movement. Oh, just as I say that too. I feel a little bit slower at the mouse setup for some reason. Oops. Okay, I have two wrong. Hmm. That's a cool one. Oops, okay. Not my proudest watch, or not my proudest rush, I should say. I was reading G Spates' comments, watching from Corsica, baby. Nice. I need dragons tonight. I might play some accelerated dragon. <laughs> the, the, the question coming from I play Sicilian dragon. Welcome back, I remember that name. All right. Got time for one more rush, and then Title Tuesday will begin soon. So let's try and beat my previous score. So many options here. Check here first. Hmm. 
What is this one? Made in two. Okay. Okay. Meat. Probably not five. Not seen a oh, rook d one, probably. Okay, if I take no, with this move, hmm. Queen B3. There, there. Hmm. Ah. Okay. <laughs> the last few were guesses. Oh, Title of Tuesday starts really soon. And I'm not in play chess or live chess. I have an upcoming okay, here we go. Where I could play up to 12 hours. Okay. Oh, wow. Advice for increasing my stamina. Get a lot of sleep. Get some exercise. Eat well. I mean, the combination of sleep, diet, and exercise can really make a difference. So try and focus on all three. Okay, um, emote only. First game, title Tuesday. It's 11 p.m. in Germany. I'm kind of tired, but we'll see how it goes. Let's play this one. So most people don't do this, but this is playable. Thank you, Aspen Magic. Oh, I guess in emote only mode, people can still like sub or cheer, probably. So, still some freedom of speech. Okay, what to do? Queen e7. White really wants to play f3. Or, um, wants to play e4. It's the purpose of F3. C5 is a move. I think I'll go for C5. I mean, generally when white commits to this move, then it makes sense to try and open the center a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking Bishop F8. Do you have to be careful, like the c7 square? But I don't think white can exploit it right away. And knight a6 is coming is a kind of safe move, covering a few things. Or maybe even a6, a6, b5, or a6, knight moves and then take. Okay. Knight c7 is a threat. Hmm. 
I take the knight, take the pawn. And g5 is almost working. Ah, uh, what to do? I think I have to take. Not what I wanted. Yeah, playing it safe. White has a bishop here. My knight's not great. Queen d7 now. Yeah, it's a passive position for black. Still holding on, though. These pawns are targets. Uh, bishop d6. Hmm. Bishop e4. Try bishop b4. Didn't really do much. I really didn't know what to do there. Bishop F8, I guess. Yeah, the time scramble is coming. Ooh. It's a very strong move. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Uh, in a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Uh, what to do? Uh, I lost a pawn. Yeah, bishop h3. I mean, I was under a bit of pressure. Maybe already here it's, um, it's not great for black. Yeah, white's, white's definitely playing under pressure. But after knight d7, let's see. Let me update chat. Ah, uh, I have to take with knight. But black's still a little bit worse. Okay. Thanks earlier to Laughing Shark, the first time Prime. Okay, not the best start.
but the last time I played Title of Tuesday, I lost my first game and then won five in a row. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can mount some comeback. It's the first loss, Gambit. Hey, it's Hector Bat. Hi, Eric. I've missed you, bro. Happy 22. Missed you too. Yeah, I'm not sure what my exact schedule is going to be tomorrow. So um, I would say for people that maybe want to meet, probably don't go out of your way. But if there's anyone that lives in Munich and like um, would be convenient to like come by the chess park, I'll try and figure out some... Uh, <laughs> some plans but i guess for anyone that might be interested in meeting just send an email and then once i i have an idea of what my schedule is i can reply yeah my german is is not that great <laughs> uh i've been using my google translate app when uh when i need it so i've been getting by Okay, we have a London Slav type position. Um, generally, I'm very happy with these structures. We have emo only mode. There we go. Okay, I just want to play a clean game, not get too low on time. Try and stay focused. Probably take like d2. Maybe a very, very small edge for white. Just with a little bit more space on the queen side. But nothing huge. Maybe someday I can play like c5 and get the b pawn rolling. Now I do have the time edge. Seems like, no, b5 is not a, probably not a great idea for black. Let's play queen a5. If b5, I'm happy to come back. I think the bishop wants to be here. E5. We trade. D5 doesn't really work. I'm not sure what to do. I guess I'll take and play queen b3.
And but I can still go for this idea. At this point, I'm just trying to be solid and wait for some opportunity. Mm. Before. Yeah, rook d8 is coming. I really have not achieved much. I have to be careful too. I have a few ideas. Like for one, I have this and this. Maybe some positions I can dive into G6. Queen. We need two. And now this move. Now this move. Somehow I got something. Check doesn't work. F3. And this move. Yeah, this is very unpleasant for black. The queen is completely off sides. Okay. I got the win. Hey, it's Pam. What's up, Pam? Ham has the power to use normal words in email only chat. I'm in Germany still. I'm in a different city. Currently in Munich. Um, I'm doing my best to stay awake. It's a little bit tired. A little bit tiring though. Losing my ability to speak coherently. Oh, welcome back to Jim Jam Jam J. Hey, it's Chess Gamerin with a raid. Thank you, Chess Gamerin. Welcome, everyone. If you're just joining, it's Titled Tuesday. I was just talking about how tired I am. <laughs> it's um, it's approaching midnight for me because it's German time. Like usually the later title Tuesday is 4 p.m. at least in the Midwest US. Oh no, my sleep schedule. Oh, is Chess Gamer in a German stream? Oh, welcome to all the Germans joining. Guten Abend. Yeah, this is probably the lowest my heart rate has been for like a title Tuesday below 60. Wow. What's my sleeping heart rate? It's got to be like maybe low 50s, high 40s. 
getting there. I was at 56 after the first game. Wow. I am kind of tired. I don't think there's any caffeine in this tea. What to do? Tired Rosen. Yeah, at least I won a game. I'm not going 0 out of 11. There's no Magnus or Hikaru. They, they have the World Cup to play tomorrow. But there's Aryan Tari who recently got knocked out by Magnus. Oh, Chess Gamerin says a chat suggested you when I saw that you're currently in Germany. Nice. Yeah, my previous stream. So I streamed a few days ago. I was in Baden Baden, which is another German town. And then when I ended, I sent the raid to Kugelbuch. It's another uh, German chess streamer. So all these chess streamers in Germany sending raids to each other. Yeah, so I was in Baden-Baden for the Chess Tennis World Championship. I filmed all of my tennis matches and chess games. And I I did make it to like the final four. Um, and then there was like a hybrid chess and tennis format. Similar to chess boxing, actually. So... I'm hoping to make a video out of it, like, pretty soon. It's just a lot of footage to go through. I'll probably try and do some, like, voiceover commentary. What is this badge next to Levon Aronia? Nope. Okay, no time to find out. There we go. Oops. Okay. We have a... Reti, play Rivers London. Yeah, this knight c6 move I was looking at recently. So one of the ideas is this move doesn't work. Admit. Okay, let's play a5, scourging b4. It's tempting to take. This is typical too. Yeah, so I'm counterattacking the knights. White doesn't have to take immediately. Wow, so if takes, takes. Go for this. Interesting pawn structure. Really want a knight on d6. So some idea to play this. E5. an idea of taking. Calculating this and then this.
Realizing I could take with a pawn too. Perhaps makes a bit more sense. That move I forgot about. Take the bishop. Doesn't work. Yeah, I guess I'm going for this line. I think I win back the pawn. Because I'll have uh, the battery against e3. Oh. That's a problem. So there, there. Oh, thank you, Psychedelic Gazelle. Gifting five. Appreciate that. I gotta focus here, though. <laughs> I might be in some trouble. I'm so tired too. Uh, okay, let's check. Rookie three. And this move. Yeah, it's just rook f3. I'm not seeing how I make progress. I'm just getting mated. Oh no. Uh, how did this happen? I don't even have any stalemate tricks, but I have an A-pawn. No. What if he doesn't take my rook thinking it's stalemate? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, what to do? Oh, it's such a sad finish. Oops. White well, played well, though. Not sure if I had a chance to draw there? Maybe it's already much worse here. So my rooks almost connect, or they did connect, but white just defended. Okay, not the best start. One out of three. But if I win the rest of my games, it will still be my best ever. I had rook takes e4. Yeah, so I was calculating this line. I didn't see how it fully works though. Maybe go for this, but I don't think there's enough compensation. Maybe it's already bad for black though. Let's see. Ah. Best move queenie six. Which I should have considered. Yeah, rook e4 doesn't, um, doesn't quite work. Thank you, Dynabass. Happy six months. And thanks again, Psychedelic Gazelle. Oh, who just moved to Munich. Oh, wow. From Texas. Two years no way. Tuesday. Yeah, I, I arrived in Munich today. I'll be here for the next... Day and a half, I guess. 
Um, if you have any recommendations, let me know. I was gonna try and find a place with like chess boards. I actually I I asked ChatGPT like where to play chess in Munich. And it gave it gave some recommendation of like the um, it told me to go to Cafe Chess a lot. Which I looked up and it just doesn't exist. <laughs> But then it told me to check out the English Garden, which apparently has some chess boards. And that does exist. Most of my time here has been navigating German bureaucracy. That sounds enjoyable. Okay. Uh, back to email only mode. And we'll switch up the opening. No more London. Uh, Ponziani time. I think De Gensch was here earlier. Ponziani usually makes De Gensch happy. My stream title should answer the question where I am. Um... <laughs> We also have the location command, which I think should should be working. Okay, what is this position? Knight g5. I really want to punish black, but not seeing the way to do it. E6 takes. Okay, we'll go back. Yeah, I think I'll just focus on like making my pieces happy. Queen C two. Queen F five is maybe coming. I was about to blunder a bishop. I have a feeling that I'm not going to make it through the whole tournament. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. Like, very out of form here. I'm taking one move at a time. So I've unleashed the rook. Some pressure against the pawn. More pressure against d6 as well. b3 undermines this rook on b6. I'm thinking queen a5. Let's start with h3. Bishop h3 is maybe a threat. 
queen d3, and queen e2. I think I just want to double up a simple plan. Never mind. That's maybe not the best trade, but okay, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, this pawn dungeon has been existing for a long time. A four play knight a four first, rook c one. Rook d7 idea. Yeah, knight side down to defending the c pawn. There goes one c pawn. Oh, there goes an a pawn. There goes another c pawn. Final position was equal. <laughs> okay. One on time after 37 moves. I'll take it. So 50%. Hey, it's Josh. What's up, Josh? Hello to Ipshi too some mods here to Rasha's face palm thanks so much <laughs> uh I'm doing my best to stay awake it's like usually I'm a, a night owl but recently I've been sleeping earlier because usually I have to wake up for the hotel breakfast yeah, the chess tennis event, um, there hasn't been too much, like, online coverage. Um, I don't think they posted, like, the results anywhere. But Kevin, um, or uh, KD Learns, he, um, he streamed the event. At least his, his own, like, chess and tennis games. And then I recorded everything, so there will be some content. So the format, yeah, I like I really want to make like a um, a very elaborate video, like talking about the format and then like showing my experience throughout the tournament. Happy forty months, Vinny Chase. But the format it was seven rounds of tennis. It was seven 10 point tiebreakers and then seven rounds of chess. 
And then if you win a, a match in either, you get, get a point. And then the top four point scores played in the hybrid format uh, with the semifinals and finals. And then the, the format of the hybrid was six points of tennis and then six minutes of chess. And I was fortunate enough to make it to the final four. And uh, it was super cool. It felt like what chess boxing would be, except instead of boxing, it was tennis. So um, I didn't get punched in the face. Yeah, I have like probably over 100 gigabytes of footage. So I tried to record everything in 4K, like especially the tennis like 4K and 60 FPS. Um, I was not the highest rated chess player. There were two grandmasters, both of whom were like very good at tennis too. So I'm excited to like go through the footage. A lot of fun highlights. I did post a, yeah, the tweener clip. I think it was an Instagram story, but it's on Twitter too now known as X. It did rain on the final day, so we we played indoor. Yeah, I'm actually not sure like how to um, best post the content. If I should make a highlights video or if I should like post the full full match or like the full length of all the matches. But highlights is probably more consumable. Yeah, maybe I, like I would, I would do a highlights video for the the main channel, and then on my extra channel, I like post the full thing for people that want to like binge all the the content. I'll definitely have some um, some clips that will make good YouTube shorts from the chess and the tennis. Is table tennis harder than tennis? Might depend on the person. Table tennis probably requires less running. But they're, they're two very di different disciplines. I guess in table tennis, yeah, like the physical element isn't as much. Although it, it can still be a physical game. Yeah, there's a lot of games with um like a ball and a net. Tennis, table tennis, badminton. Volleyball. I guess basketball also counts. Are you going to play chess in Italy? Um, I'm not going there for a tournament. I'm going there for a wedding. But <laughs> I do have a chess board with me, so maybe I can bring it to the wedding, play some chess there. I don't play golf. I sometimes play mini golf. Maybe once every like five or ten years. I did not see the new Mission Impossible movie. I haven't seen like any movie in the last like so many months. Okay. Emo only mode time. Finally time. Okay. Here we go. So I'm at 50%. Two out of four. We have a Queen's Gambit, Catalan. Ninety two. Ninety two is a move. This can often lead to like very sharp double edged middle games because black holds on to the pawn. Yeah, White's already like not sure what to do from the opening. Opponent from Chile. Yeah, 
I mean, the play for black is actually pretty straightforward. Most of the time, d4. I guess I have to be careful here. Okay, here maybe it's not so straightforward. Because this is now a threat. So I guess I play knight e5. Knight c2, bishop e7. Yeah, white has some play for the pawn. There, there. Bishop b7 first. I have to keep an eye on the square. There's some ideas of knight b4 to d3. Have to be very, very careful here. Bishop f8, maybe king h8. And then knight g5. Hmm. F5. F5 is interesting. Feels wrong though. Maybe just h6. That plunders. I don't know what to do here. C5. Take. I'll play C5. That's one way to like try and induce some trades. It looks scary. That's so much pawn tension too. F five. Bishop e7 first. Eh. What to do? I think things are okay now. Tricky. Should 
Should be winning the bishop eventually. Ah. It's still tricky. No. Ah, uh, I can't even set up the trap. Ah, uh, what to do? Okay, that was kind of sad. Ah, uh, I got the two rooks, but then I got forked. I guess I had to play um, king f8. And then at least I don't get forked there. Yeah, I think this is the lowest my heart rate has been for a title Tuesday, like ever. Thank you, T Fox. Okay, so I have two out of five. So if I lose one more game, I, I rage quit the tournament. <laughs> if I win the rest of my games, it'll still be my best title Tuesday ever. Oh, do I still get fourth there? Here, wait, king f8, queen h6. Well, then I move back. I think it's okay here. Yeah, I just can't allow queen g6 with a fork. Thank you, Dr. Snoopy. Gifting two. Okay. I have some energy to hopefully keep me awake. Playing chess, dude. Let's play knight f3, how about? Happy birthday to me, or at least to my subscription. Oh, thank you, Mangork. All right, let's play um whatever this is. Oh, we have um whatever this is. I'll play b3. C4. Oh, this is a very new type of position for me. Let's see four. Like I'm trying to make sense of what's going on here. I might still go for this uh like G4 plan. H3, rook G1, G4. Looks interesting. Eventually, queen side casting as well. Yeah, it's probably not the best approach, but 
something new. So I play G4 immediately. Take, take. Take, take. Might as well. Mm. It's a slightly annoying move. Maybe I just castle. Take with queen. I have to be very careful here, though. Ninety five takes, takes. So d4 take is not happening. Take and queen e5. Hitting a couple of things. I could have started with taking, actually. Yeah, I should have started with taking. And Black still needs to deal with this. Oops. Could have been a bad pre-move. All right, so if I take, wow. I should probably take on e6. So the bishop's hit. I won the pawn. Some idea of like g5, g6. That's a scary move. I take the bishop. Hmm. There's really not too many options here. Take, take. King C2. It looks really bad, but... Oh, it is really bad. Or is it? Or maybe it's still playable. Completely missed Queen D3, though. Now oh, this is really bad. Hmm... Rook B4 is coming. Maybe I can take. I just want to trade queens. Oh no. Uh, B1's off limits. Still playable, maybe.
Ah. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time to rage quit. I'm just a little bit too tired, missing too many things. What to do? I don't do this too often in Title Tuesday, but it's past my bedtime. It's also Wednesday, because it's Germany. It's 12.06 a.m. Guten Morgen. Do a primal scream before you rage quit. Okay, do people really want a primal scream? You ready for it? Okay, primal scream time. Oh, let me actually rage quit the tournament before I forget. Or rage withdraw. Oh, thank you, Capo Greco. Much love from Australia. Well, now I feel less enraged. The urge of doing a primal scream is, is dissipating. Hmm. Okay. Primal scream. Three, two, one.